Greeks could express opposing views and confusion over the critical referendum slated for Sunday. According to the government, the referendum is a last resort in response to the ultimatum given by the country's creditors. International creditors are urging debt-laden Greece to accept more severe austerity measures in order to continue the support of the Greek economy, which has been in its fifth year of recession. The Greek government asks citizens to vote no, rejecting the deal and push for further negotiations in order to achieve a better deal that will include a debt relief agreement. However, the opposition supports a yes vote, since they believe that a no will result in a Greece exit, with the country leaving the eurozone and going back to using its own currency, the dramak. Public opinion seems not only divided but also confused over what exactly is at stake. Of course, I agree with the government's decision. It is the most democratic thing they could have done. I don't agree with the government's decision to hold a referendum, because they were elected just five months ago, so they have a fresh mandate by the Greek people to govern, and we didn't have to go through the process to seek the opinion of the Greek people again. I agree with the decision. It's a timing I disagree with. The referendum would have taken place a long time ago. To hold a referendum right after the current bailout program ends its blackmail. I don't agree with any decision because I don't know what the vote is going to be about. Nothing is clear. They haven't shown us what yes or no entail. We cannot decide because the picture is not clear. In 2011, then Prime Minister George Papandreou proposed to hold a similar referendum on the first bailout agreement offered by the country's creditors. But the referendum never took place, as it was severely criticized by Greek and European politicians and the media alike.